everyone, welcome back to the Nintendo Prime Podcast. I believe episode 56. Maybe. I don't really know, because I'm not actually here. You're just a, a figment of your imagination. The show mm-hmm. isn't real. I'm probably on some tropical island being chased down by Captain Jack Sparrow because I stole all his rum. So, yeah, I'm here, I guess, talking in two places at once. It's magic. Movie magic. Uh, I am your host, as always, Nathaniel Robojads. To my... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, Eric's not here yet again. Um, I don't really know where he is, to be completely honest. I know he bought a new laptop, which you might <laughs> see on the next episode. I helped him uh, make that purchase. That uh, He's not happy because Best Buy lied to him on when it was going to be there, but he should have read the email. He should have read the email. Uh, <laughs> the website's not always the most reliable on, uh, on time estimations. The emails usually give you what, you what the info you need. Anyways, he'll have it for the next episode. But still, we do have our returning, basically a co-host at this point, Mr. Mm-hmm. Mike Perez from Nintendo Academy. We're in the Invincible shirt. How's it going, bud? Going on, everybody. Been good, good, good. Yeah, feeling feeling invincible here with the with the shirt. I got actually got this shirt from a from a like a long long time ago. The first the first mega super duper giveaway by like one of the sponsors gave me the shirt. Man, I I wear it to this day. It's awesome. Wow, dude, that's great. I don't I don't get sponsors anymore. It's just no 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 no. Not, not, you don't get sponsors. You get mega sponsors. You got Capcom to send you codes for some. Uh, wait, I, well, uh, I, okay, so yeah, Prime Gaming Fest obviously had a lot of companies sending stuff. A lot. <laughs> but Prime Gaming Fest is over, and now none of them talked to me. So I don't know if they were happy with the show. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll see what happens next year. I'll give it some yeah. time to cool off. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I might get a review code of. Mm-hmm. Of uh, what you might call it, uh, the Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. In oh, fact, awesome. at the time that this uh, episode's live, mm-hmm. uh, the review code could be literally sitting in my inbox, and I wouldn't even know. So, awesome. you know, there is that. Uh, it'll probably just go to Yulia, who just really likes Fire Emblem Warriors, anyways. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a weird episode, guys, because this episode was obviously recorded before I went on my vacation. For those who don't know, I'm, I'm on a cruise. I'm out in the middle of the Bahamas somewhere doing God knows what um, with Yulia. My, my children are, are with my sister for the week. So it's a bit of an interesting episode since it was recorded ahead of time. So we can't really be recording like what's the latest and greatest stuff to talk about for this week because we have no idea. Maybe a Nintendo Direct has happened and you guys yeah. are waiting for us to dive deep on that amazing Breath of the Wild 2 trailer and the reveal of Pikmin 4 and F-Zero returning. And unfortunately, we can't talk about any of it because we don't actually know if it happened. Uh, That's what's pro that house, man. That's what's pro? Peace. No, no, dude. They even called it the pro. What the hell, man? We went right on the name the whole time. Crazy. (laughs) So we obviously can't talk about that if that happened or if it's about to happen tomorrow because we have no idea. Uh, obviously we still know at this point of recording about the rumor date of the 29th, which I really hope is true because then I actually get to cover it. It's a great way to end the night or a great way to end yep. the night, great way to end the month. And mm-hmm. obviously our next podcast episode would be all about it. Yeah. So it actually would line up really, really nice since it lands on a Wednesday. But, uh, unfortunately we, we have no idea. We, we are not insiders ourselves. So, uh, we don't have the privy to the details on this unless Mike is hiding something over there from me. And Charles yeah. Matt and they just got him on the phone. I'm like, oh, I, dude, I'm in voice acting this new game that's like popping off on the 29th. Check it out. Yeah. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Well, I'll see. I'll, I'll see what I can get. What what info I can get at the end of the month. I'll get uh, uh, the 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 meeting I'm having is before the direct. So let's see whatever what 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 we can what can we get from there. Okay. Basically, what he's saying is, while I'm away, you should be watching his channel because he's going to have all the details that my channel won't because I can't cover yeah. news for a week. It's going to be really really strange. I don't even know what videos are coming out yet at this point. There's a couple discussion videos I sort of have recorded, but whether or not I ever get them edited and ready to go for next week, I have no idea. Uh, There will not be daily content. You've probably realized that at this point. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the first content you have seen since the live stream when I left on Friday night. Mm. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is the only content you get all week. I have no idea. Uh, Obviously, a bit of a blow to the momentum of the channel because we were going really well. But hey, what I can say is we are trying, you know, to crack that 80,000 subscriber mark. So we got a really cool giveaway plan for that. I don't know if you guys have heard, you know, giving away a Breath of the Wild sword, the Master Sword, a, a, a weathered down Master Sword. 
Yeah, the actual Master Sword. I, 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 dude, I called Nintendo up and I got, I got a deal done there. That is crazy, man. Poor Zelda. Poor, poor Link. You know, he's going to have to defend himself some, some other way. Maybe get a yeah. branch or something. Unfortunately, they wouldn't give me anything else, so I had to purchase secondhand replicas of, of, the, of the Hylian <laughs> shield and the Deku shield. I mean, technically, yeah. they claim they still had the Deku shield, but it, at this point, sort of rotted out. I mean, it is made of wood, so I suppose I probably <laughs> wouldn't want to touch that at this point. Uh, but hey, yeah, that is a giveaway we have going on. It's, you know, it, it, These aren't cheap things, but I really don't care. There is no price on giving back to the community, so uh, yeah. 80k? Let, let, let's see if we get through. It'd be sweet if we somehow pull it out before I get back, even though I'm yeah. not posting videos. That, that would be very, very strange and make me yeah. wonder if the best thing for my channel is for me not to post anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll Just send, the I'll podcast send, on Wednesdays. That's it. Nobody wants to watch anything else. I'll, I'll send my little people down this way so they can keep the channel up and go <laughs> going where you're going. <laughs> also, shout out to all of you guys watching right now. Uh, last week's episode was our number one most viewed podcast in channel history. So that is really, really great. Um, haven't told Eric yet. I don't know how I break the news to him that the most viewed podcast episode is one where he wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> but, but it just so happened to be our number one viewed podcast uh, ever on the channel. So thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. I think we had over 3,400 people uh, watching here live. Uh, it's also the number one organically viewed, a.k.a. not promoted heavily by giveaway or anything uh re-upload on the podcast channel at over 200 300 views there i don't know what it is at this point but i say organic it's not the most watched episode on that channel but a lot of those more watched episodes that cracked a thousand views were due to a giveaway that was promoting watching episodes there's nothing promoting watching anything anymore so it's it's an organically uh well-viewed episode it's also one of our most listened to audio versions Strangely mm -hmm. enough, not the most listened to. We have a we have an audio version like back in 2018 with over a thousand listens. I don't wow. know what the hell happened there. <laughs> I have no clue because the actual like video version of it didn't even crack 200 views. So I don't know why the audio version blew up. But hey, thank you so much uh, for listening yeah. to that really weird episode back in 2018. <laughs> so yeah, this is our most viewed uh, and listened to collective episode ever for over 4,000 listens and watches uh that you know last week that that's incredible i don't suspect this one's going to be uh um, up there not because you guys aren't watching but uh that was a two and a half hour episode this is going to be close to an hour so um yeah, yeah. yeah that that does affect some of the viewership at least from the live perspective maybe not the re-upload uh because this is gonna be weird because this is gonna be premiering like a live yeah. stream on my channel and then yeah. it's already set to go live on the other channel tomorrow. Yeah. And the audio version might have already been posted before I even left because there's mm -hmm. no way for me to schedule it. So the like literally the audio version of this episode might be the first thing up. It's mm -hmm. weird. It, yeah, yeah. It, this is weird. So maybe you've already heard all of this. I have yeah. no idea. That's true. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. It was great. So in terms of what have you been playing lately? Well, it's only been a couple of days since the last episode. So, uh, <laughs> I have not been playing anything, but I know what I'm going to be playing. And okay. that is going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Yeah. Um, I am Sir. playing that on the plane flight there and on the plane flight back. Uh, all the reviews are out there. I've heard a few, a few uh, staggering opinions here and there. All mm -hmm. I know is when RGT85 is out there calling this one of the greatest games of all time, I know they did something right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to probably be talking about in the next episode. <laughs> but for right now, I can't. So I haven't really played anything between now and then uh, because I've just been getting ready to go on my vacation. So, Mike, what have you been playing, I guess, lately in the last couple of days? Well, i uh, got to go with the same exact game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. And um, my first impression, because I'm actually working on, on also on, on reviewing the game. Um, dude. I, I just gotta tell you, th this is this is what I gotta tell you, and I'm not gonna give you anything about the game. I'm gonna tell you about what I feel. Okay? Sure. They did it. They did it. They 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 managed to take me back to my childhood and make me feel the same exact way I felt the very first time I played a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game on arcade. Okay, they they from the moment that the, the, the theme song played, 
you know, during the, the gameplay, I play, I played like, I, le- I played at least three or four uh, of, of the levels. Man, they managed to take me back, bro. Everything, everything about the game is is classic and new at the same time. It's just beautiful. It's just yeah. I heard great. they I heard like the intro animation yeah. and everything. It's like the best version of Ninja Turtles ever. Yeah, like new and yeah. old at the same time, and with the music. They 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 had the top tier artist Wu Tang Clan supposedly making music for this. Like, I I don't know what they did. But everybody is just raving on this. Like it, I couldn't it, tell you how I felt, man. I, I just felt like a kid, man. I felt like a kid when I was listening to that theme song. When I was the visuals, the way they sang it, I I know they probably resung it, but the way they did it, man, I, I they took me back. They literally took me back, and it, it was it was amazing. And I can't wait to get back back on it and finish the game. You know, it's awesome. So that's all I'm gonna say about the game because I know you saw. Yeah, we 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 got a cowabunga through this podcast, so you can get back to it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Now, when you come back, when you come back, if you're not stranded on a, on a desert island when you live, um, then we. we I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I don't know. I don't know if I mind being stranded. <laughs> I mean, not not for you two, but hey, for your for your uh, primates, you know. Your yeah, a lot, a lot of you guys out there. Uh, I don't know if you if, you, if you're missing me. I have no idea because I can't read the comments on this. Maybe maybe I am. Maybe that's the secret. As I'm sipping my ties, chilling on a beach, I'm like, you know, let me just see what's going on with the live quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, live, you know that live Mike and live Nate will be there somewhere in the chat. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I know that this is a, a, a. I know when this event is happening. I know the time zone differences. Yeah. I uh, will probably be checking in in the chat just to see how you guys yeah. are feeling. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. But, so yeah. maybe 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 then maybe uh, the infamous other half of Nintendo Prime from his private <laughs> island might tune into the chat. I have no. I, I don't know what that bastard's doing, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll find him. I know it's some island out in the Bahamas. That's all. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been there for two years. So you talking about Eric? Maybe, maybe we'll find him. What? You talking about Eric? Oh no 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 no! There there is uh, there is the the see I'm I'm Nate, uh-huh. and then there's someone who's actually Nintendo Prime. So you might hey. have the mic first going on. I got yeah. I got like two different. Nintendo Prime Primes going on, it's not a prime, but it's not a prime verse. We, we all exist in the same universe. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's been he's been coming in and super chatting little tiny amounts for years just to shit talk me <laughs> for years bragging yeah. about this island that he bought out in the Bahamas. Well, I'm out there. I'm going to try to find it. I don't know. I don't really control where the cruise ship goes. Just kind of hoping that, you know what, maybe it's close enough to one of our stops and hop on a yeah. little ferry, find out. I don't know why he did have a ferry. It's a private island. So, you know what? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea. No idea. Um, I, I let Nate come, over, come, come back old can. And, and <laughs> yeah, who, who the hell knows? I mean, even now, I can tell you now, like, you guys are watching this video now. Uh, when I come back, the beard has died. It's not died at the moment because I'm dying it tomorrow. Uh, Yulia is also dying her hair. Wow. Um, she's going like super blonde, uh-huh. uh, which she used to do all the time. And then, you know, stopped after we had more kids because who can who can really <laughs> keep up with it? Um, and now she's going back to it because, hey, guess what? We're going to be kid free. And she just wants to go back to the younger days. And I guess so am I, although I didn't have the beard in the younger days. But I guess I'll, yeah. it'll be what my beard would have looked like in my younger days. What are you dying into, red? Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going. If it grows out all the way, it does get it does get some red in it. But no, uh, yeah. it's probably a dark brown, you know, brown. which is yeah. what it w- which is what it mostly would have been if I had the same look like ten years ago. Cool, cool. That's so awesome, uh, I've had it. I've had the look on my channel before, although sometimes I bought the wrong thing and it went to- full black. But you know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It still looks all right. It just looks like I painted it on. Not a big deal. Dude, I, like, I, I got. I like painted on beards. I got I got a uh, uh, my beard dyed one time, man. Uh, I look like a, like like a freaking cartoon. <laughs> yeah. So like I, I've tried to find a place that will, that will like do it professionally. Yeah. It just doesn't exist in my area. If I was in a bigger city, there are places that'll do it for you. And like, yeah. what's nice when they do it is they get it all perfect. There's nothing on your skin. They get yeah. it perfect, so it's just the hair, and, mm-hmm. and then it looks really really good. You know, if you ever see Hollywood actors like, oh, yeah, they probably have great hair. Yeah, they got the, all that taken care of by professionals and it looks really damn good. You can get that done. My area is yeah. too small, so we don't have any ways that does that. So yeah. I have to do it myself, which is mm-hmm. fine. 
But in order to get it to look like I can get it so it's only where my hair is, but to make it look natural, you have to sit there with like an mm-hmm. alcohol scrub and sit there and just reef on your face for like an hour to get it off the skin in between the hairs. And it's just, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it does look really good when it's done. Uh-huh. But man, it's a pain in the ass. So I, we'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks. Uh, the hair, the hair will be technically dyed a little bit. It's not going to really look much different though. And yeah. I'm wearing a hat most of the time. You guys probably won't even notice that part. Um, <laughs> but it's just going to make sure it all, it all kind of matches because it'll be a little bit darker than it is now. Uh, yeah, but yeah. anyways, that's, that's that, 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 that. And by the way, so if you see that guy on camera, that is not uh, that's me. That's not the other. That's not the other prime. That's me. Um, <laughs> that being said, I have no idea. At this point, I've probably posted a few pictures on Twitter or some other places. You know, thanking all of you guys yet again for me being on this amazing vacation. It was it was literally all paid for out of YouTube, um, mm-hmm. out of all of our super chats and all of our memberships and the ad revenue. Uh, granted, we technically paid for most of it over a year ago, but you know, mm-hmm. COVID's a fun thing. So yeah, that being yeah. said, that being said, we have some a, a couple topics to talk about. Uh, mm-hmm. The first one is interesting because we know the Mario movies coming next year. We know all not. I don't think we know every voice actor, but we know all of the major voice actors. There'll probably be some minor roles uh, that we won't find out till the credits roll, but. Um, we know yeah. all the big names because they're advertising the big names. We got Jack Black in there, and you know, mm-hmm. so, so some other people that uh, <laughs> that, that that might be in a new uh, movie coming out soon. Uh, mm-hmm. And hey, Charles Matinee, like he he's going to be playing a, a small role sure. in it as well, just to make sure they pay homage to the the OG Mario voice actor, and by the way, voice actor of many other characters, not just Mario. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's kind of cool uh, that we are getting that movie again. We still don't, no breaking details on it as far as I'm aware, unless something dropped while I was gone. Then I, I really apologize that they dropped the Mario movie trailer and whatever. We're not really going to be talking about the Mario movie, though. Yeah, so it's okay. Right. Uh, so there was an article that came out uh, last year. Uh, mm-hmm. Miyamoto just was talking in general about the Mario movie and how it's almost done. Ironically, it's delayed, but hey, it's almost done. Uh, yeah. and, and in there, he mentioned that there was going to kind of sort of be almost a Nintendo universe of movies. Um, he didn't use that terminology, but we all know that's what fans will end up doing. The Nintendo verse. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and that there was going to be other characters and other IPs exploring movies and even TV uh, potentially. Mm-hmm. And we know, we know like the obvious one right now is the rumored Donkey Kong uh, yeah. movie, which, you know, that would be led by Seth Rogen as DK. That, that's fine. Uh, I think mm-hmm. a lot of people feel like that's probably going to end up being the next movie after this. Like if this one's actually done right now and they're just timing it for a different spot, then they're probably already working yeah. on a DK movie. Uh, yeah. And that's fine. Like, that's cool. It makes sense. Those are two the, like the OG characters, Nintendo arcade days. I get it. Uh, but he made it sound like there was going to be a lot more of these. And then obviously they would tackle them one at a time. Um, they, they, he, I think he was just tempering expectations that don't expect this to be like Marvel where they'll drop like two or three movies in a year. Like, that's uh-huh. just not what they're going to do. And then also multiple TV shows, at least not now. I mean, if it does blow up really, really huge, Sonic has gotten pretty big. I have a feeling they're making Sonic 3 while making the Knuckles movie. Same time. I th- That's one of those that, like, at the beginning here, they need to see the revenue and all that come in before mm-hmm. they can, you know, dedicate more teams and more time to to really making it all at once. But for now, they're going to be taking it one, one IP at a time. Uh, and it makes me wonder, like, Mike, what IPs do you want to see them go? I mean, obviously we assume maybe some more of the Mario stuff because they, you know, Mario then DK, maybe they spin off and do a princess peach movie or, or, or something. But, uh, is there anything else? Cause like you talked about movies and TV didn't really go much into animation, but obviously we know this movie's animated. Uh, will there be any live action potential stuff? Uh, mm-hmm. wh- wh- where do you think they're going with the whole future of this stuff after say the Mario and DK movies? Yeah. And, and, that's a good question because it it all depends on what happens in this Mario movie because <laughs> if it bombs, um, yeah, D- DK yeah, yeah. might never come out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the thing is that Donkey Kong is in this movie, so we have that we have the monkey in this movie. So you know, um, what type of movie is this? Is this a uh, in in Mario verse movie or is this like a Mario movie kind of? Mario is is his, his, his well. We his know DK's actor. role. If if do you remember that 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 supposed Mario movie leak? Yeah. Um. So if that leak is true, then we already know his role, and it's a little bit disappointing. 
to be honest. Well, but... you, I really didn't see the, the, the leak. Oh, I don't want to go too much into it just in case it's true, but I'll just say yeah. that basically he meets DK and a bunch of ah. other monkeys down in the sewers. Okay, um, oh, that's not that cool. Yeah, it's, it's a really weird way to put DK in the movie. It's fun. I'm sure it'll be funny. It, I'm sure they have it all worked out, you know, whatever. Like, Mario's going down a pipe. Okay, cool, whatever. But I don't know. It, it was really it was really weird. What like I, I'm sure you guys have, if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, literally just look up Mario movie plot leak and uh the general gist of it is I don't know if it's been proven false yet, and if it hasn't, then it came from a pre-screening, which that, that happens with test audiences. Yeah. Uh so it's possible that it's true. It's also possible that it's not true. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We talked about it on, on the channel a while back. Uh but yeah. um, again, we don't again we don't know if it's actually true and you know it doesn't tell you everything. So yeah, uh yeah. I don't know. Like uh, they're clearly introducing DK in some way, uh, which yeah, could so lead to being spun it, spin off into its own movies. Yeah, I mean, it depends. It depends if whether whether the D- Donkey Kong movie is a spin off out of out of this one, or if it's its own movie. origin. Could be an origin story yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and of course, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be animated too. Yeah, uh, when it comes to that. But you know, I mean, of course, Marvel set the stage for everybody to kind of look and 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 this is how you do it, you know, kind of way. Um, we have so many characters, so many IPs that are super incredibly amazing. Not all of them, not all of them deserve brand new movies. Some of them can can be, can be a series. You know, they they could have a, 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 a do TV a, miniseries on Netflix or something. Yeah, that that is like a movie. You know what I mean? Um, as I, I'm the the major IPs, Mario, uh, Pokemon. Zelda, uh, they 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 need. I mean, Pokemon already had a movie. I'm not sure. Well, Pokemon's but, that, Pokemon's got movies and animated shows already, so yeah. I'm not so sure I they're gonna go down that route with Pokemon. Yeah, could be some cameos. Po- could be some cameos. But. Yeah, and 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 whether they would, if they are, let's say, building a Nintendo Cinematic Universe where it could kind of all connect together, uh, would they consider the the Pokemon Detective Pikachu movies? Um, as part of this or or completely separately. Yeah. But, and re- will, will they treat like because he's talked about, you know, you know, animation or live action, like yeah. well, live action and animation. I mean, we've seen those combined in different ways. You know, Roger Rabbit yeah. and obviously yeah. Detective Pikachu and stuff. But mm-hmm. like, w- and, w- would that would they cross over live action with the animation or would they just or would they just make it all animation? So it all, like I, I bring that up because personally yeah. as a big zelda guy i i kind of don't want to see zelda animated i'd rather be a live action series yeah me too me too i think too. i think that's like the one ip and maybe maybe even that in metroid possibly i like the like the two ips i think that live action makes a ton of sense mm-hmm. for you can get a whole sci-fi thing going you get the full high fantasy and it, it could be incredible if done yeah. right um yeah. mario zelda. makes mario makes a ton of sense as animated ton of, of sense yeah yeah but but if, if if uh yeah I see Zelda like I see um there's this is HBO series what's it called again Game of Thrones uh, Game of Thrones and then, uh Lord of the Rings also like like uh mm-hmm. like a big giant massive production of of a movie or or or, be... or, oh. or a TV series dude dude can you imagine you know uh, but then again we we have to see Link speak which is not impossible you know well, in I mean, a way Mario's going to be talking a ton and he's only ever said a few things uh, so uh, and the way he kind of does is just that because he's made in the per- in like kind of a pers- first person he's you then you know i i understand why Link is doesn't talk is because he in a way we're Link we're yeah. Link I, I wrote an article on this a long time yeah. ago about like guess what Link's been speaking this entire time yeah, you just don't hear him because it's you. You can see like people ask him, "Oh, what's your name?" And also like, "Oh, you're Link." Uh, he just told him his name. You just didn't hear yeah. him talk because you're thinking, "I'm Link." You're yeah. speaking yeah. for him. So like, it, it's a, yeah. it's a gameplay mechanic, but Link isn't actually a mute, guys. He talks yeah, exactly. all the time, yeah. holds yeah. conversations in the games. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even in Breath of the Wild, we see him move his hands and, and his kind of gestures and everything. Like he's actually talking to somebody, yeah. but it's actually us we're talking to them that's why they, there's no voice so that we yeah. can kind of be the the, the controlling force of yeah. link and that's and, why and, it, it, yeah go ahead that, well, i was gonna say that's why some fans are afraid too because like even when they could admit that link has talked well we've always been Link. So like how can we make yeah. it give them a voice because like that's not gonna match most of us and it's like hey mm-hmm. you gotta start like, it's kind of like the mario movie hey who would have thought the voice actor of mario would have been who he is so you have to sometimes separate it out from 
here's the way that you view it in a game. This isn't a game. And I think that's best to try to separate the games from the movies and shows because mm-hmm. the movies and shows need to be their own thing because the games don't translate to movies. It just, yeah. it, it doesn't, we've seen this a lot where they've tried to translate games to movies. doesn't work. Mm-hmm. The best video game adapted stuff doesn't really follow the games. Mm. You know, as an example, even like the Witcher series, yeah, it's following yeah. the books. It's not following the games. Yeah. The books make a more compelling production oh, yeah. than, than, than the games would. And that's with games that have an incredible story. So like, mm-hmm. you, you know, even look at Sonic movies. Sonic 1, those aren't based off of the video games. Mm-hmm. Since when can you throw rings and teleport anywhere? Yeah, like that's yeah. not how Sonic works. But that's how like they created their own thing, and mm-hmm. that and it's loosely based. Like you know mm-hmm. you have you have obviously Jim Carrey as Eggman. Like yeah, the mustache looks a little bit like Doctor Eggman. Yeah, there's a loose connection mm-hmm. to the games, but it's still its own thing. And I think that's what we're about to see with the Mario movie. Exactly. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll see with any live action Zelda or anything like it, like you, you, we have to detach what we th- expect from games to the movies. And I think Sonic has just really paved the path to show that's how you do it. We have to create our own story, our own universe and do our own thing loosely based on some of the some of the things in the games. Yeah. And that's why I think it's possible. It's very, very possible that even if the Mario movie is animated, it all depends on the way they animate it and what's mm-hmm. involved in the story that it can actually cross over with other characters in the future. If we have a, a massive, a massive Smash Brothers movies at the end where the, 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 the Nintendo universe is at stake and they have to go into this tournament in Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Mortal, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah. You know, with Smash Brothers, dude, every single Nintendo <laughs> fan wants to see an ultimate Smash Brothers movie where all these characters come together you know what I mean? Something has to happen with with, with the sense. entire man. Can you can you can you imagine that? Can you imagine? I don't even know how that like, but especially, if, ever- especially if they make it like Smash Ultimate style and they're bringing in all those third party characters. I, I like how, yeah. How are you? How you know how many voice actors you need? How many and how many studios? How much permission? How, how many different ways the money is going to be split? How? Yeah. But you know what? It would be really really like, like it's kind of funny because Nintendo does sort of have a setup where. Hey, all of our characters come together in mm-hmm. this one thing yeah. that could be our Avengers. And we exactly. can and we have multiple of those things. So we could have multiple Avenger style movies. Yeah. Um, yeah. And technically, guys, the Smash Bros. series does have a story. Yeah. And we don't uh, have I don't to know have how many people know the story, but it does have a story. I don't know the story. <laughs> yeah, most people don't because it's very it's more about the gameplay than anything, which is yeah. true of most of Nintendo's IPs. So. Yeah. But I mean, it, it doesn't have to be the, the first movie doesn't have to be ultimate Smash Brothers. It could be it could be Smash Brothers Melee or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like Sm- or Smash 64. It's like eight, eight major characters come together from different yeah. IPs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah, you never know, man. I mean, it's it, it that's the thing. It's all in, in the imagination of who makes it and who who writes it and makes sure they do it right. And then whoever yeah. directs. Does it the right way too. I mean, and as I say, we see we've seen animated crossover with with live action before. You know, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll never forget who framed Roger Rabbit. Like that oh, was yeah, straight man. up just cartoon animation in the real world, and that that was bad. That that was badass. Like I I, I really enjoyed that. Um, that so that kind of proves that if you do it right, you could still have that sort of crossover. You know. Yeah, and even even recently with the movie with uh, uh, Chip and Dale. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that, some people are a little iffy on that one, but yeah, that one was. I, I liked it. I liked. I liked the. The character. animation I, worked. I didn't have a problem with the animations in the real world. That was the, all fine. But. The cameos, the ugly Sonic man, that was hilarious. <laughs> it was just more a punchline. Sonic. Sonic. No Bringing bringing back the bringing back the the Sonic that was never supposed to come out. That was funny. That, that was, was, was that was absolutely hilarious. Like, hey, look, they found a way to reuse that thing that they deleted. Yeah, <laughs> that nightmare that, fuel. I, 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 you want people clamoring for all these uh, ugly Sonic series? <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> probably you debut on Netflix. It will probably be seen by millions. Become number one watch right. for a week. Right, uh, right. Yeah. So, so okay. So yeah, we we can see DK coming off of it. You know, maybe Zelda because it's it's really becoming a big deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. and and we've seen animated shorts before. Like Pikmin had an animated short series. 
Yeah, I, I see. I see Pikmin as an animated series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and like and you know, Animal Crossing. Yeah, would Animal Crossing could, could like that do really well? Animal Crossing. I mean, billion ways you'd run Animal Crossing. It's just people living their life. You know. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You make a drama out of that, the Tom Nook drama. Yeah, that's true. And, and this this does, this places a question: Will Nintendo offer a streaming service for their? their shows like their actual actual shows and cinematic movies it's interesting because they're they're going right now they're using illumination and they have their mm-hmm. own streaming service so i yeah. think the mario movie would probably just go there but okay. they, they got to think long haul you know, mm-hmm. pokemon ke- is on their own stuff but also goes to netflix yeah 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 um and they probably at some point want to bring pokemon into the fray in some sort of crossover so it's going to be interesting to, to think like, what do they do? You know, do they do they just let it exist on these services, but also have a, a central service, or do they go, or do they Disney Plus? Hey, we're going to create our own service one day, and no one else can have our stuff because that's what Disney yeah. did. They yanked everything. Yeah, or or they can go to one of these these um, already streamers, and they can have one portion to themselves. The Mar- the, the Nintendo Cinematic Universe have their own little tab. Click on there, all their movies there. Just like uh, you know, Disney Disney has Marvel and has a uh, uh, has a uh, um, Star Wars. Like when you click Disney Plus, they have all these um, different worlds. Yeah, different IPs there. that you can go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they you, you might they might sign a contract with one of these these streaming services where they have their own section uh, for Nintendo. Well, I'll say this: I don't want Nintendo to launch a new service because them and online is just never. Yeah. Never again. <laughs> Go with the people that know what they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, you don't want to go to Disney. That's totally fine. It makes sense. You are partnered with Universal Studios. Like you should probably do something with them. They got their own services. You can put it on. Um, you know, figure something out. Uh, I know. I know. Right now, Universal puts most of their properties out on Netflix. So it would be interesting if they just go the Netflix route. Uh, Because then they could also that pairs up nicely with Pokemon. I know Netflix would obviously love to get all the Nintendo characters locked in onto their onto their their IP. You know, if you have Sonic going Paramount Plus and stuff like, okay, let's get Nintendo stuff here. That that would be a really big boon for Netflix, who's looking for anything to help boost their stuff beyond their own content. Because Netflix is doing, I think, a pretty good job with their own content. But where they're struggling is they're losing everyone Mm -hmm. else to their own services. Uh, so to yeah. be able to like lock in something with Universal and get all the Nintendo stuff over would be. Yeah, would be do you think they're going to use Universal for all of it, or are they going to spread it around no. to multiple studios? No, I think so. I think so because they have a multi-million deal with Universal in the theme parks. They yeah. want to keep it all under the same family. Yeah. Um, and and the movies, you know, we can find movie merch in theme parks <laughs> as well from the movie. So if Universal is doing all the all the distribution. Um, I I feel like Universal. It what uh what, what what do they have? Peacock. Yeah, I think it's Peacock. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'll, so, double, I'll double check. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah, I I feel like more going to Peacock if, it's, if that's Universal's um thing than than anything else because Universal and Nintendo are becoming kind of you know kind of tight when it comes to to the thing. So it makes it makes it makes sense to me. Yeah, Peacock. New Universal films stream exclusively on Peacock. Mm-hmm. So new ones. Some of their old ones are still on Netflix, it says, but all stuff moving forward from December on will be Peacock. So that's probably where Mario would go in this Peacock. Yeah. Now, I don't know how big Peacock is. Uh, it's good. It's, it's a newer service, obviously. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. It's my go-to. Like, more than Netflix, because uh, there they have they have The Office. They got Parks and Rec. They got WWE. They got all the WWE show, shows there and everything. Um, and yeah, I'm on then, their website yeah. right now. See, they're like the only ones I'm not subscribed to. Yeah, uh, which is um, strange. And yeah, they 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 got a uh, they right got now, a, anything live on NBC as part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so whenever whenever to me it's my go to because I watch The Office a lot. <laughs> oh I'm, oh yeah. oh! They're doing the Hulu the OG Hulu route. Hulu doesn't even do this anymore. You can watch stuff for free just with ads. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, and then you pay like four, four bucks to get the ad removed. Yeah, five dollars to get limited ads, yeah. and then it's ten. It's completely ad free. Plus, you get to because you don't you don't gain the ability to download titles without the the complete ad free program. So that's like their big thing is hey, you get ad free yeah. plus you can download and watch offline. Um, but that's cool. Well, I'm gonna have to sign up for a Peacock, and I I didn't know it was actually free. What what do you get with it? You also get. 40,000 hours of hit movies, TV shows, and more. There must be right. some stuff locked behind premium. Oh, 
Like the US Open is lap line premium. The Ruther Rutherford Falls is yeah, lap line yeah. premium as well. Yeah, and then whenever there's a, a a movie that goes straight to 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 Peacock, there's a movie like a like a brand new movie like Firestarter uh, is a brand new movie that just came out there. I think the first month was locked behind, and then it went over to to the rest. Yeah, it but, says uh, you also get next day access to uh, current NBC and Bravo hits. So like current yeah. shows running on television. The day yeah, after that, the, the episode debuts, you can watch it. Exactly. That, that's what I like about it because I, the, when you when I can't watch show on TV, nobody watches show on TV live anymore <laughs> that much. It know? is crazy though. They, they, they do have a free. So, I mean, this is OG Hulu. This is what made Hulu blow up in the first place was you could pay, but you could also just watch everything with ads. Um, mm -hmm. And that was like a really cool thing. And, and Peacock really brought that back. That's damn. Yeah. I'm gonna, I might have to I might have to get my account at least a free account. We gotta get Peacock to 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 sponsor one of uh one of uh, one of these episodes. Let's we'll we'll talk about them a little bit. Oh, sponsorships! So yeah, dude, a funny funny story on sponsorships. Um, I had this. I, I won't name the exact place, but this this comic book distribution website contacted me, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, and they're like, hey, we want to work with you. I'm like, okay, cool. And and they show me some of their best selling comics or whatever, and I'm like, that's cool. Like, we'd like to just give you some free comics to advertise. And I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm like I got a family. Comics don't pay the bills. I'm sorry. Like I do like comics, guys, but it's just so a lot of you out there might be like, I I take free comic. I I totally understand. By the way, yeah. they didn't they didn't have the ones they were offering me. Um, were the dating variety. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if that's what you're into, cool. But I'm not. I'm I'm currently not into dating novels when I'm about to get married. Um, mm -hmm. but you know, if that if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. No problem. They, they had some other other ones of some some anime series I actually recognize and stuff. Uh, and I'm like, okay, cool. And so they wanted me to contact them on WhatsApp, and I told them, I am never making a WhatsApp account. If you guys ever see a comment claiming to be me in the, mm -hmm. the comment section from WhatsApp, it's not me. I, I will I refuse to even mm -hmm. look at the app. And I told them, I'm sorry, I have people on my YouTube getting scammed by people on WhatsApp. I'm not joining WhatsApp. Yeah, like it's not yeah. happening. And then they're like, okay, fine. Well, then we'll make a deal through email. We'll pay you $2 to post a uh, community post and put an ad in a video. And I'm like, $2. $2. Um, that wasn't worth my time to read your email. I'm just, I'm not <laughs> trying to be mean here, but like all my sponsorship deals are in the hundreds and you're offering two bucks. Yeah, man. Yeah, you got to. Um, so like so guys if you wonder why i haven't any sponsored content in a while that's my most recent offer um and that's uh you know i i think just saying that two dollar thing right now probably already got a two dollar super chat from somebody that isn't sponsoring me <laughs> already in the chat while watching this so like look i look guys thank you so much for the two dollars that i maybe there's more than two dollars now at this point now that i brought it up you guys are sponsoring me way the hell more in fact you you guys are absolutely incredible holy yeah. crap uh, we're at like 590 members or something. We might be past 600 by now. I have no idea what happened on the yeah. Friday stream that hasn't happened yet at the time I'm recording this. Uh, mm -hmm. We might be past. We might be past 600 members. Uh, just glancing at memberships alone in this month, guys. I know we have gifted members, so it's really insane right now. You guys have provided over 1,800 dollars in revenue to the channel just mm -hmm. from members. That is, I yeah. You guys are my number one sponsor, not these other companies. Proud you guys love. sponsor me, love. so, so yeah. The, that comic book place, by the way, I, I'm not going to say a name. Maybe you guys end up liking that place. It's fine. I just thought it was kind of weird, and I told them, really, you, you, two dollars is what you're coming at a nearly eighty thousand subscriber channel for. That, I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was mm -hmm. being offered more than that when I had a thousand subscribers. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like who, the okay. people who usually don't take you seriously when it's a two dollar offer. I'm like, yeah, all right. I, I don't really care about your brand so much that I want to be associated with you for two dollars. I'm good. Oh, did you, speaking of, did you hear the crap with G Fuel? What happened to G Fuel? Oh, man. So I've been trying to get sponsored by them for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually really enjoy the drink itself. Yeah. Um, and like, you know, beat em ups and others are like, are massively sponsored by them. Well, G yeah. Fuel went ahead and fired a whole bunch of their um, representing team members of the partnership program. So the people that, people who are sponsored by them actually uh, talk to, like they don't talk directly to the corporate, they talk to the, the team handles partnerships. Well, a bunch yeah. of them got fired and then they came out and basically immediately upon fire said, that's really interesting that we showed up to work today and didn't have our jobs considering that uh, 
the we there was like they they filed basically a complaint again in, in HR. All the, mm-hmm. all these team members filed a joint complaint in HR about abuse in the workplace, and they were mm-hmm. trying to keep this hush hush and just have it dealt with internally, and then they just show up and don't have their jobs. Oh. So like all the content creators are now like yanking G Fuel out of their stuff, being like, "Hey, yeah. we're done. Nobody use our discount codes anymore. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter." And like, yeah, dude, it. God, that's the thing with the sponsorship deals, guys. You, you, you got to be careful because you never know what's going on behind the scenes. No, yeah, you don't know who who you, like 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 the saying said. You don't know who you, who you're getting in bed with, so it's bad. Yeah, I see here that uh that uh B the most took it out of their Twitter. It's not it's no longer there at yeah. all. He, yeah, and no he, he ripped it. He, he went live today on a live stream on Twitch and he ripped all the stuff out of his Twitch streams and he just wow. talked about it briefly. He's like, yeah, I got two two people that I was talking with directly there. They magically don't have jobs today. No one said a word to me about anything because I have no one to communicate with. And they expect yeah. me to just keep promoting their product and I'm 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 not taking any more money. I'm not, I'm done with them. And like a whole bunch of creators are now are now just yanking out. It'd be interesting to see what happens with like PewDiePie, who actually has an actual G Field drink made after him. Like is is he gonna back out? You know, because I'm sure he's getting paid a pretty penny to have yeah. his name associated with G Fuel. Mm-hmm. Um it, it, it dude it this is the thing about sponsorships you guys don't, don't realize is there's very little we know about what's ha- like like I, ghouly kit right like they sent us all those controllers i don't know what's going on behind the scenes of that company yeah yeah at all yeah. like i'm I'm just grateful to them and i i, I like to assume the best of everyone but all these companies are all about making money and not necessarily about treating people correctly so it, it it's difficult um dealing with this kind of stuff you know hey okay i got i got the connector at apple i'm, I'm trying to get them to sponsor me forever but you know, yeah, just, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, it just it just just doesn't happen so like i'm always open to sponsorships like you know we joked joked on a uh, during prime game fest hey we want dr pepper to sponsor us for their new dark berry flavor and it's like you know i actually would be cool like i've been looking for a drink sponsor forever but i'm really mm-hmm. glad that like i had an initial email with g fuel like a month ago and they wanted to talk more and um, I was hearing a couple of rumblings at the, behind the scenes, and I was like, well, I'm going to wait and just see what happened. And then all of a sudden, this all blew up today, and I was like, well, really glad that I didn't progress with that and take, you know, they were going to offer over $1,000. And mm. <sighs> See, at least when I say my community is my number one sponsor, is look, if one of you individually is a bad person, uh, that doesn't really affect all the other people that, that, that are sponsoring my channel. So, um you know, and I probably never will find out if you're a bad person or not because you're not a global brand. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm reading, I'm reading here, uh, beat him up says uh, he did a statement on Twitter about the, yeah, about the G Fuel thing happening that he asked people not to use his code anymore until until G Fuel comes up and and yeah, like they haven't made any statements on it. They haven't talked to any of the creators. They're not talking publicly yeah. about what's going on. Um, they're not talking about you know admitting any faults and. Apparently, um, th- this was a red flag people probably should have saw was, was something uh, that because because G Fuel's been a sponsor of Drama Alert channel for a long time. Whatever, I don't really care what Keemstar and Drama Alert, but um, mm-hmm. Keemstar said something on a live stream while wearing G Fuel merchandise uh, that was just r- absolutely abhorrent, and he had to apologize for. And of course, G Fuel didn't drop the sponsorship, but it kind of gives you an idea of like, hey, if they were okay with him saying that and not dropping them, then. Yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah. one thing. It's one thing. I I think if, um, a company has a long-standing relationship with you, wants to give you a second chance, but like someone like Keemstar said several controversial things, so it's kind of mm-hmm. like, you know, you clearly have have been okay with that behavior for years. Um, so that makes you wonder about the internals. But then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you see beat 'em ups who a lot of people find to be really wholesome and and genuine and nice, and he's mm-hmm. constantly pubbing, you know, hey, it's sponsored by G Fuel. You know, yeah, I gotta have my G fuel. Gotta have, and like, so you're like, well, this is so weird because like you have the exact opposite imagery being presented. Mm-hmm. You know, trying to play both sides of the coin is usually not uh, the way to go. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, and it's just G fuel for now. Who knows? Like, we've seen a lot of this. So Activision Blizzard obviously get busted for a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, Ubisoft earlier. So like, man, e- e- that that's the thing. And and I just wanted to to bring this up because you know, guys. I don't care if I get sponsorships or not. Like I'm up for, uh, I'm on the list for a couple of sponsorships with some indie games coming up. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to come through or not, but it, it's one of those that like be, I, I seen some people angry with some content creators today about being, you know, not saying anything yet. Like PewDiePie hadn't said anything yet. And I'm like, mm-hmm. let's, 
Let's remember that us content creators know very little about yeah, what's yeah. going. We, we we just know what's available on the internet. We do our research. It's a reputable company, been yeah. around a long time. Their products are available at every store. You don't think anything of it. You know, it'll be like me taking a deal from Pepsi. Like, yeah, you don't think anything of it. Um, mm-hmm. And they're offering you really, really good money. And everyone who, you know, who buys the drink ends up liking it. So, you don't feel like you're giving people a raw deal because it's a good product. Um, mm-hmm. t- that's a good tasting product anyway. So it, it, try not to judge content creators harshly for mistakes being made by the companies that sponsor them. Unless those content creators are coming out and defending those actions. Yeah, especially when the company is is big enough to have several departments, several areas. Like, for example, right now, it's it's about people who handle content creators, those people there. It could it could be as small as their department was being basically not handled correctly by whoever was in charge of that department. You know what I mean? And -hmm. then the entire company doesn't have to pay for that, for the sins of those that those few managers who'd like to take advantage of their position and and be a little bit ex- ex- excessive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then yeah. the content creator is just guilty by association. And it's like, well, yeah. they, didn't, they didn't control any of it. So um, I'm going to say be a little fair to content creators out there. You know, we even mentioned before, like, um, mm-hmm. you know, just even just talking about beat em ups, like when he had the satisfied grip promotion. Like, yeah, some people got the wrong grip. Yeah. Um, it's not Wood's fault, <laughs> even though he thought my video was blaming him. I wasn't yeah. actually blaming him. It's not his fault. I was saying that Satisfy, you know, should have done a little bit better to make sure that that never happened in the first place. Uh, there shouldn't have been the wrong ones sent out. We know that you know, obviously mistakes happen, but it was multiple people that got the wrong one. Uh, yeah, I, I was one of them, and and, and the, the, the the it wasn't even Woods' fault. They gave him a link so that he can share on his on his uh, yeah. YouTube account. They and oversold link, how many they had is is really yeah, what happened. That link led to a page where you could see the 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 beat em up script. You you would add to cart and purchase, but somewhere around the line, the communication with the website assigned a whole bunch of them to to the regular grip and then some of them to the beat em up script. So I'm pretty sure he he himself actually reached out to them, I'm guessing, and then trying to figure it out. But it, it was not his fault at all. He was just yeah. sponsored. By them. He was in a privileged place of getting that grips made in his, in his name for, you know, using oh, yeah, it, was a, it was a it was a big honor. Like it yeah. like me, you guys know, I've worked with Skull and Company and if they if they want to contact me and work on a joint grip one day, that would just be an honor. Like yeah, to have yeah. my branding be on a real product that people can buy. Like that's just yeah. like that, that that's like an, I made it moment. Like, you know, you you've really made it um, in your field when literally it's not your own merchandise. It's a major company reaching out and wanting like with PewDiePie being on G fuel, like wanting to have your brand that much associated with theirs. Um, it's an honor because that's a, that's a high level of respect. Um, and that's and that's why I, I said in my video, I'm like, hey, I don't think Satisfy did it on purpose, but I, and but and it's not Woods' fault at all. But you know, it would you know we can only do so much in contacting customer support. It it would be nice. Like the only thing I said, I, I think that you could maybe he didn't like, because I said you know it would be nice if he made a public statement about it and recognized that some people like would say, oh, I know I'm aware some people got the wrong thing. I sent an email to him and just kind of left it at that because you know he's not going to deal with it on the individual basis, but. Uh, um, just to acknowledge it, hey, yeah, I know this. There was a mistake. It's okay. The satisfy will take care of you, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but you know, it. it I, don't, I don't think he actually watched the video. To be honest, he just saw yeah. the thumbnail and thought I was just bitching about him. I'm like, yeah, man, no, man. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I literally, I literally was on his live stream um, when he was uh, raising money for uh, depression, um, mm-hmm. and I, I donated like over three hundred dollars. So I, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, it's one of those things that I think I'm too small time. He doesn't really pay close enough attention to be completely honest. <laughs> yeah, it is. Thing you do, but you know, continue your own path and try to find yeah. your own. You know. Um. So one last thing I just wanted to briefly get to. Briefly, briefly, because uh, we're kind of running up 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 on the clock here. Um. Give me one expectation for a unannounced movie and or TV series that you think Nintendo is going to do, say, in the next five years. And then one unannounced expectation for a potential direct if it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so um, we already know about the Mario movie, so I'm just going to go straight to to The Legend of Zelda. And I don't want it to be a movie. I want it to be a series. I want, I want it to, I want to do enjoy it. Do you want it limited, or do you want it to be like full seasons, like multiple seasons? 
Uh, no, I want it to be a couple of seasons, a couple of seasons, even, even if the, even if it's an eight episode season, I, I need yeah. to, needs to be, it so you want it to be, be like an actual, t- an actual series that's going to continue, yeah. not just be a one, yeah. not be like Obi-Wan where they do six episodes and they're done. You want them to no, know there's going to be more. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, so the Zelda is, is the, the legend of Zelda is so massive. There, there's so much that could, that could happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was surprised I mean, when they, they said, Obi-Wan would just be a limited series. I'm like, really? I feel like you have something here that you can run for like three seasons, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's so crazy. I think that they're, they're doing an, uh, uh, like a cinematic universe where they're all they're all gonna kind of join in, at one point. <laughs> prob- then, prob- yeah. You're 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 probably not wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 but and then uh, Nintendo Direct, um, uh, new IP or or Zelda port, new IP or Zelda port. Ooh, when I, like I mean port, that. I mean either a remake. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, like, it's all the, like Twilight Princess, uh, Wind Waker, yeah. Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Season, you know, something, yeah, like yeah, 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 or 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 a new IP, a new IP, new IP. Would this be an internally made IP or would it be like a platinum or like a third party IP that they'd be nah, Nintendo, Nintendo, new IP, completely brand new IP from Nintendo, uh, and code name you know, Steve, code name, code name, um, Zelda clone, <laughs> I'm gonna call it. <laughs> Uh, dude, game. why don't they have more action adventure games, man? Something, one more, man, and one more, one like more. Maybe all you have a billion different platformer games, but only one action adventure series. Like, yeah, you at one point you had a bunch of racers too. Like, can we get more than one action adventure series? That would be wonderful. Yeah, Thanks, racers, fighters, there's everything, but we need one more Zelda. Well, technically, clone. they only have one fighter now. I mean, take a character, take a character, maybe right. spin off uh, the Legend of Zelda with the character and just make it its own thing and then have it evolve. I mean, they did that with Tingle, technically. Who? Tingle? Who's Tingle? <laughs> Who's Tingle? We're, uh, <laughs> Ting- Tingle's basically me at this point. I used to make jokes about it, but now I'm the guy in the 30s wearing spandex with red balloons and making maps for my children, so... <laughs> Uh, I guess I become the new Tingle these days. That's right, everybody. Face reveal. I'm the new. This is what Tingle looks like. No costume. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. This episode of Nintendo Prime Podcast. Nice and short and sweet for you guys. Uh, I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Again, I have no idea if I have videos planned or anything coming up. Um, mm-hmm. This is Wednesday. I'll be coming back in town sometime at some point on Saturday. I have no idea or Sunday. Either way, you probably won't see me until the following Monday. So, uh, let's hope that, hey, if the direct hasn't happened yet, that it's coming on the 29th. And if awesome. not, then, um, who knows? Bob's your uncle. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so catch, you. catch you guys in the next episode, guys. All right, peace.